We're back with Whitney Cummings and Sean White. Sean, let's talk about your final Olympics. Uh, you're a three-time gold medal winner. You finished fourth this time. Yeah. How did you feel when the, when the run ended and you realised you'd came fourth and that yeah. was your loss? How did it feel? You know, I mean, obviously, as a competitor, I wanted more out of that last run, but I was sliding to the bottom and, like, all my competitors were waiting there to, like, congratulate me on my whole career. That's and just, amazing. It was incredible, so what a wonderful time, yeah. I mean, to have the respect of your peers mm -hmm. in that way must mean <laughs> more to you than... than than, the, than if you'd won, if you'd come third. Like, would that have meant more to you, just the way that they reacted, the way your entire community respects you? It must be an amazing yeah, thing. Yeah, it was heavy. I mean, I, I'd be sitting there, or actually, I came down to the bottom. I mean, I didn't know they were going to line up like that, and, and everybody's saying these amazing things, how, like, I had your first snowboard. Like, they, you know, were all that age at the time when like, I was I get coming it, I'm up. Old. I was like, okay. <laughs> Um, but it was it was amazing, and that's when I got really emotional because I was like, "Wow, I've been doing this for as long as I can remember." And to have their respect and and you know recognized for what I've done in the sport was pretty crazy. Now, Wendy, often when you're here, we find ourselves talking about your love life. Yeah, uh, you're dating currently a veterinarian. Yeah, every time I come on the show and talk about my love life, I'm single a week later. So let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going? It's going great. Uh, is it I'm, serious? It's pretty, How serious is it? Well, look, I'm dating my veterinarian. He is a doctor. Oh, he's your veterinarian. Oh, he's not a veterinarian. No, yeah. he, hasn't, like, he hasn't passed any boards or anything. No, I mean, so hang on, you met, like, with your dog? We met yeah. with my dog. Oh, my God. Wow. The start of a rom-com. Go on. Wow. Honestly, <laughs> he... It, well, we are kind of like, um... Uh, have you guys seen Schitt's Creek? Alexis and Ted? We're kind of like that. Okay. He's the the sweetest guy. He's 32. Here's the thing everyone always tells you to date a doctor, date a doctor, like grow up and date a doctor. And I did that, but no one told me that doctors don't make money till they're like 45. Right. So I picked the doctor at the wrong age. He's 32. He's like, tons of loans, uh, so <laughs> I'm, like, in the hole so far on this relationship. Um, but in order to become a doctor, you have to be... Oh, in America, this is not the case in England, you have to spend, like, a ton of money in order to then no, make yeah, money, yeah, like, yeah. 30 years later. Mm. You know what I mean? And then by the time you get in, all the technology's changed and you don't really know anything. Sure. Back to school. <laughs> okay. So I was like, this whole doctor thing is not what I thought it was. Um, but vets do give... Um, uh, like uh, IVs uh, for hangovers. They can do that. Um, if you ask very nicely. And these are the perks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, these the are little the perks. perks here and there. Okay. And so, um, and I uh, uh, meet him, everything's, he's 32. I'm not really taking him seriously. I'm 39, but now it's like very serious, but to the point to where I am not gonna wait around for him to propose because I'm 39. And you guys, something about you guys proposing, you have to like plan a scavenger hunt. Like you have to spend months like, yeah. Hiding rings and trees, yeah. so I have to go dig. Mountain tops. Like, I have to get a pig uh, to sniff the truffle <laughs> so I can hunt for, earn my ring and yeah. grovel. <laughs> like Gollum or something, just give it to me. And I know he's gonna like, pl he's planning the treasure map or whatever mm. it is that mm. you guys have to do. And then, uh, so I'm gonna propose to him, I think. Also, because he's 32, I'm 39. Like, I don't want him getting down on one knee to propose. I don't want him to, like, see my neck from this angle. Right. It's been... Mm. Mm. So when are you gonna, <laughs> when are you gonna, when are you gonna do it? When do you think? I don't know. I will, Should for me... Should we go halvesies? Halvesies? Same time -sies? Can I melt one of your <laughs> medals and wait, make a ring? Wait, I got hang on. you. Hang on, are you, are you, you're, you're, are you, you're, you're not, th are you thinking well, he's of... very... I know you are, but are you thinking of... It sounds like tis the season, but... If he does that, are you not... thinking of this, Sean? Is this something you're thinking uh, of? You know, I'm in a. Have you met her? <laughs> no, I or have. Seen but her? I, I have, but you've brought it up. Is this yeah. something you're thinking about? Uh, she's incredible. I mean, we're in an amazing relationship, so it's not out of the question. But I'm, I'm excited to, uh, you know, enjoy our time together without all this stuff in the way and see what, see where it goes. You know what you should do? Yeah. If you actually loved uh -oh. her, mm. you will melt down one of your gold medals. Yeah. And just... If it's true, love, and if you don't, then she should say no. You she... can melt down. Okay. She's gonna I'm just say. Get the I'm just she's saying. Like, I don't I'm just know. Saying. Is that Olympic you gold? Melt or is that a... down one of your medals? <laughs> okay. There is literally <laughs> the most romantic thing you. Or no, yeah. you break a bit off. Or you now could go what? to yeah. a jeweler. Uh, Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this <laughs> evening? Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. We, we were rehearsing. 
Yes. Uh, I, so this question goes to. Uh, uh, both of our questions. This is a question that was submitted by Zeb Powell, um, who says hello, by the way. Um, nice. And uh, anyways, here it is. Hopefully I can get this right. I have to press record using a mini disc um, and, a, and a dat. Okay. Anyways, here we go. <laughs> I, I said, so that's the question, are you ready to rock? Am I ready to rock? Should that be his wedding song? <laughs> it's up to him, I don't want to get involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> are you, you ready to rock? You take this one. What am I doing? Are you ready to, are rock? You ready to rock? Yeah, of course, always. Sean? I've been ready to rock. Reg? You ready to rock? What do I look like? <laughs> huh? That's correct! <laughs> it's correct! Please thank the wonderful Winnie Cummings, Sean Wright. Stick around, Natalie Hemby's here when we come back.